Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the reboot of the Alternate Super Bowl Series, now known as the Alternate Super Series. Why the reboot? Both games are good. I wasn't quite happy with everything. I wanted to do four versions, a real, an alternate, an alternate AFL, and an alternate NFL, or AFC NFC. I also wanted to incorporate, incorporate the 10 years where there wasn't a real Super Bowl. 1946 to 49, double AFC versus NFL, and 1960 to 65, AFL versus NFL. So this is the alternate Super Series, the 1946 George Hallis Invitational. It is the Chicago Bears, champions of the NFL, versus the Cleveland Browns, champions of the NFL. Now let's see if I got everything right. I used... Um, two controllers to try to get the uniforms right. Now the Browns don't have 40s uniforms, so <clears throat> they're in the 60s. And the Bears. Yes, I did. Okay, using a second controller, I was able to change the Bears' uniforms without having to leave their profile. So, 1946, Chicago Bears, coached by George Hallis, went 8-2-1, first place in the Western Division, and defeated the New York Giants 24-14 in the NFL Championship game. The 1946 Cleveland Browns, in the inaugural season of the AAFC, the All-American Football Conference, went 12-2, and coached by Paul Brown, first in the Western Division, and defeated the New York Yankees 14-9 in the AAFC Championship game. <clears throat> so the storyline here is that the NFL and AAFC did not, is not recognizing this game. George Hallis, Invitational, he's the one that called the Browns, Paul Brown, and invited them to play this game. And that is why we have it. Good night. Okay, so speed is slow. Jump forward to end of game. So Lou Groza gets set to kick off. Lou Groza, who's also with the Browns in the 60s and on Sack to the Future. <clears throat> now, much like Blast in the Past, uh, the Pro Football Reference doesn't list their numbers, so at times I may fumble with names for the four years of the 40s, but I'll do the best I can. Here is Hall of Famer Sid Luckman leading the Bears onto the field. Also, you'll see that this is before the 1952 implement of a numbering system. So, numbers are crazy. In terms of guys playing both ways, I did the best I could to try to match up numbers. Here's a delayed handoff to Joe Osmansky on first down. And Edgar Jones in on the tackle. Joel Osmanski, the rookie. That doesn't say it was college. Out of Holy Cross. Older brother Bill also went to Holy Cross, and he is on the team as well. So on second down and 11, there is the handoff once again to Osmanski. And Osmanski's got a huge hole. And he picks up the first down before finally being tackled by Marion Motley. Marion Motley is wearing number 76 on offense, and although later in his career he'd wear 36, somebody else had that in 46. So, 
Nice move by Osmanski to get by number 51. And the Hall of Famer Marion Motley chases him down. The two leagues decided to modify rules and use the 2018 NFL rules. Luckman hands off for the third straight time. This time Osmanski is crushed in the backfield as he tripped up number nine Edgar Jones in on the tackle. Here's a look at the Bears starting offensive line. Bulldog Turner at center, Chuck Rulis, Pat Preston, the guards, Mike Jarmaluk, one of the tackles, Hugh Gallerno and Ken Cavanaugh, the receivers, Bill Osmanski, Joe Osmanski, the running backs. Man, they go fast this year. Luckman's first pass, it is complete. Out to number 31, Dick Schweder. The ninth year player out of St. Louis. Schweedler, sorry, Schweedler. <clears throat> and it's a first down for the Monsters of the Midway. The Bears, who just six years earlier invented the T-formation, have decided to jump into a futuristic shotgun, but there is a flag down. False start, offense. Well, the penalty is on number 53. And Luckman will come back under center. There is a give. This time to number 37, Frank Mazinski. Maznicki, sorry, the fifth year player out of Boston College. And look at the Browns defense. You got Dante Lavelli, Bill Willis, Lou Rimkus, and Max Speedy on the front line. Marion Motley, Frank Gatsky, and Lynn Houston, the linebackers. And in the secondary, Don Greenwood, Ray Turrell, Edgar Jones, and Lou Saban get the starts for the Cleveland Browns. Luckman in the shotgun on second down and 10 from the 44 of the Browns. Actually, looks like the 43. Picks the handoff, throws over the middle. It is caught by number 30, George Wilson. In his 10th season out of Northwestern, and a first down for the Bears. Luckman under center. It's inches away on third down. There's a little move by Osmanski. Osmanski's got the first down. He is driven back. They're going to give him forward progress to the 28-yard 20, line. A six-yard gain for the Bears. And a first down at the Cleveland 28. Edgar Jones records another tackle. There's the handoff. This time he is going to be stuffed in the backfield. Maznicki loses two yards on the carry. And Papa Bear Hallis, none too pleased. <clears throat> Second down and 12. Luckman throws. It is complete to number 51, Ken Cavanaugh. One of the starting ends in the seventh season out of LSU. Good enough for two yards and a third down. Luckman fakes the handoff. He's going to throw. He finds an opening. He's complete down to number seven. And Luckman so far is four for four. And again, don't have the numbers on the Pro Football Reference roster, so if they don't list the name, I'm sorry. <clears throat> Luckman, however, started 4-4 four four passing. Lou Saban made that tap. Luckman back to pass. First and goal into the end zone, and it is intercepted. Intercepted by Ray Terrell.
Ray Terrell just steps in front. The rookie out of Mississippi, Ole Miss. And he gets the interception. There's a way to show the names like I have on Sack to the Future when I send these things. Otto Graham, the quarterback, picks the hand out to Marion Motley, throws it out on the swing pass. And it's good for eight yards as Max Speedy on the reception. Out of the backfield. And a first down. Look at the Cleveland. No, we're going to look at the replay. <clears throat> Second down and two after the gain of eight. Otto Graham in the shotgun. He hands it off. This time it's number 90, Edgar Jones on the carry. He picks up four yards and a first down. Edgar Jones, the second-year player out of Pitt, played for the Bears in 1945. Graham in the shotgun. There's a handoff to Jones again. This time Jones is going to pick up two yards. It'll be second down and eight. Wilsmanski on the tackle. We see a lot of names going both ways in 1946, but not all of them. <clears throat> Graham heaves the pass out, reaches out all. He cannot make the catch. Dante Lavelli laid out, but was unable to control the pass, and it'll be third down and eight. So on third and eight, the Browns, Graham in the shotgun. Graham looking to throw. Throws a bullet across the middle and it is knocked away. Otto Graham has started one for three for eight yards. I'm going to bring up a fourth down and eight. And the punt is away. Just taking on about the 18 yard line. And he brings it up to the 29. Joel Osmanski on the return. <clears throat> Coming back out on the field, Sid Luckman will attempt the Bears' second drive. 7 13 to go in the first. He brings Joe Stidahar in motion. Has Nicky behind him. Graham, or Luckman back to pass. He throws it out to Stidahar. And he completes it. Picks up five yards. Big number 63, Joe Stedahar. Again, if I'm mispronouncing a name, I apologize. Stedahar in his 11th season out of pit. And a look at the replay. Second down and five now. Luckman comes up under center. He is back to pass. Throws it over the middle. It's complete for the first down. Boy, the presentation, they're not giving names. I, I apologize for not knowing these numbers by heart, but like I said, I cannot find them. Especially for the Bears. I actually do have a team picture of the Browns. This time the pass is complete. Luckman is 7 of 8, 64 yards and 1 interception. And that pass complete to Ed Sprinkle, number 7. I'll do the best I can to try to remember. Just a yard, 
On second down and one. Luckman turns around and gives to Osmanski. Osmanski fights his way for the first down. He's into Cleveland territory up to the 47. This time the pass is complete. To number 51. Just like last night's uh, bonus game, they didn't show most of the team starters. Luckman back to pass. He's got the first down. He is now 9 of 10 on the afternoon for 82 yards. And George Wilson with his second reception. Edgar Jones on the tackle. And on first and ten. Luckman. He's going to give to Osmanski. Osmanski right at the middle. He's going to pick up two yards before being tackled. It'll be second down and eight now. Luckman throws over the middle. He's got to complete. Down to the 10-yard line. And a first down for the Bears is Ken Cavanaugh with his third reception of the afternoon. They can get a first down without getting a touchdown. Luckman back to pass, throwing in, almost intercepted. <clears throat> Mike Scary, the middle linebacker, was definitely a scary sight for like Luckman on that play as he almost picked it off. The screen pass is complete, and he's in for the touchdown, Joe Osmanski. And the monsters of the midway, the Chicago Bears have taken the lead. Luckman had to, was lucky to get that screen pass away, and then the Bears had some perfect blocking. As scare, um, sorry. Osmanski takes it in for the touchdown. A 10-play, 70-yard drive. Why's that guy got a modern face mask? <sighs> there are little mini glitches in Madden 19. You put on the classic helmet, and sometimes the face mask goes automatically to two bar, even though it says single bar. And there have been a recent time since the latest update where it's got a modern face mask on it. And if I don't catch it, because I think, uh, assume, just like old days, when you, the minute you go to the Riddell helmet, the old school helmet, you can't even put that face mask on. Marion Motley on his first carry, and the big man is going to pick up about three yards. It'll be second down and seven. This time to give this to. Number 80, Edgar, number 90, Edgar Jones, he picks up the first down. And Paul Brown is trying to get his team running. Here we go now. 
Graham overthrows his man incomplete. Second down and 10. Graham's had a rough start. It's time to give us to Motley again. As he pulls his way forward for another three yards. The future Hall of Famer. <clears throat> Third down and seven. Graham looks, throws it out into the flat. It's complete. And he's got the first down, but it looks at the spot. Yes, good enough for the first down. First and ten as Coppage on the reception. Al Coppage, 70 yard. <laughs> Seventh year player out of Oklahoma, the former Chicago Cardinal. Graham gives it to Jones. Jones fights his way for a loss of one before being tackled. Second down and 11. And this might be the... I don't know if they're going to get this play off. But he does. It's a draw play to Motley. Motley with a huge hole, and he picks up a good gain. And that is the end of the first quarter with the Chicago Bears leading the Cleveland Browns 7-0 on the strength of a Sid Luckman to Joe Osmanski screen pass. <coughs> <coughs> Third down and three. Graham is in the shotgun. He's back to pass. Throws it over the middle. A diving com No, it's incomplete. In and out of the hands of the intended receiver, and that'll bring up a fourth down. That was intended for Lavelli. Lloyd Reese on the coverage. Just looks like he gets a finger on it and knocks it away. It'll be fourth down and three. And they're going to mark this out of bounds of the 25. So a short punt. Osmanski's got six carries for 26 yards so far in the day. The Bears have a first and 10 at the 25. Luckman back to pass. Steps up, it's complete. Osmanski, and he's running the wrong way. He spun himself and started running the wrong way, and luckily for him, Edgar Jones tackled him. Edgar Jones probably should have just let him run. Second down and 10. No gain on the pass. Hallis, or Hallis Luckman throws it over the middle. It's caught, but he's going to be double teamed and tackled. Ed Sprinkle gets his third reception. Luckman's been sprinkling it to him every now and then. Excuse me. Third down and one. There's the handoff. It's a huge hole and a first down for Osmanski. Osmanski picks up about 10 yards on the carry. Are they going to say nine? on a huge first down for the Bears. Luckman back to pass. Throws on the run, it is caught. And a first down once again for the Bears. <clears throat> Hugh Gallerno on that reception, number five. Luckman going to throw again on first down. This time it's knocked away. Edgar Jones on the defense. The pass was intended for Sprinkle. It'll be second down and ten. Let's go. 
Luckman looking. Throws it out in the flat. It is caught, but Lou Saban steps up and makes the tackle. George Wilson, Will, Wilson with his third reception. Gain of two yards. Third down and eight. Luckwin lost it open. Oh, wide open. Gone for the touchdown. Defensive breakdown and coverage there. Not sure who 51 is. It might be Dante Magnani. But he was wide open. It doesn't help that the Bears don't wear their names on their jerseys, so. And the extra point is good, and it's 14-0 Chicago. Seven plays, 75 yards, and there's that guy, number 17. He's the one with a modern face mask. Oh, number 30 as well. You know, I'll get them fixed before the alternate um, end game. <clears throat> and here's the kickoff. He's going to bring it out of the end zone. And he is going to fail to get it past the 25 to the 24-yard line on the return. That is number 62, Lewis. And here's a look at Otto Graham coming back out on the field. Cliff Lewis on that return. The fact that they only showed us the Bears starting offense and Brown starting defense. Doesn't help either. Graham back to pass. He steps up. He throws it over the middle. And he's caught and he fights his way for more yards. Big number 81. Or little number 81. I think I don't know Bob Stuber maybe nope there's the name it's a short name they're not going to get a look at look at Smith Galen Smith on reception okay First and ten now for the Browns. They find themselves in a hole. Graham gives to Motley. <clears throat> Motley only gets a yard before being tackled by Joe Stedahar. Number 13 defense. That was his actual number. He's a Hall of Famer. Motley's a Hall of Famer. That was a Hall of Fame collision. Graham takes a snap. He's back. Throws it over the middle. It's Galen Smith again. And Smith is going to pick up about five yards. It'll be third down and four. Yes, the Bears are out to a 14-0 start on the first drive. Sid Luckman threw an interception in the end zone. But then he found Joel Osmanski for a screen pass touchdown. And then a wide open pass to number 51, who we cannot confirm who that is yet. Graham, under pressure. Close. And for the today, the ball goes through the hands of Dante Lavelli. Uh, <coughs> well, actually, that's number 55. I don't know who that one is. Again, if you're just joining us, I don't have access to numbers. Access, I had to do research to find numbers, and I'm not going to get all the research at the same time. I have to find out what setting I have on my Sack to the Future that allows me to see the names of the player holding the ball and get that set on here. Sid Luckman 16 of 19, 173 yards, two touchdowns and one interception as the Bears have a commanding 14-0 lead here in the second quarter. Got a straight eye formation behind him. Luckman gives the second man through. That's Joel Osmanski, the rookie, and there is a flag down. It's going to be called on the Bears. 
Number four, Dante Magnani. So we know that he wasn't the one who made the reception for the touchdown. Luckman this time in the shotgun on first and 12. There's the give. And Osmanski is just absolutely destroyed. By number 51, he's no gain on the play. Frank Gatsky, the great Gatsky, just leveled Osmanski. Welcome to the George Hallis Invitational, rookie. Luckman back to pass. Oh! Lou Saban, oh, tried to jump the route. Somehow was able to make the tackle, though. Bears have thrown 20 passes and run 10 times, and Hugh Gallinow made that reception. Dick Schwedler comes in motion. Luckman throws over the middle. It is caught by number five for the first down. That's Hugh Gallinow. That's his fourth reception today for 37 yards. And the Bears have very realistic uniforms. The Browns do not. <clears throat> Luckman back to pass. He floats it. Knocked away and almost intercepted. The Browns wore white helmets in the 40s and 50s. Gatsky was there to knock the ball down as, as he's trying to step up on this drive. It's thickened down in 10 now. Lockman back to pass. Throws it's complete. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Don Greenwood on the tackle. Lockman fakes the handoff. Throws it deep, and it is knocked away as Gallinot was deep. But Lou Saban has been all over the field, and he knocks it away. <coughs> Buckman looking. Throws it. It is complete for the first down, and the Bears continue the drive. George Wilson with his fourth reception. The future head coach of the Miami Dolphins. The original head coach of the Miami Dolphins. Luckman back to pass. Overthrows his, or I'm sorry, underthrows his man. And it is incomplete. Don Greenwood on the coverage. The NFL trying to show that their power over the double AFC. There is Osmanski just kind of sauntering down the field. He's got nine carries for 39 yards. Lewis makes the tackle. Cliff Lewis, the rookie out of Duke. Speaking of Duke, congrats to my boys winning the ACC championship tonight. I should give a speaking in the tournament. He throws it. It is complete, and it should be enough for the first. No, they're going to say fourth and inches. They're going to say fourth and inches. There are no holes in the pass, and Saban makes the tackle. So now going for a 40 or a 37 yard field goal. And it is up and good. Number 17 with his futuristic face mask, which I got to fix. Him in number 30. Puts the Bears up 17 to nothing. And it's going to be a kickoff into the end zone. Coming out of the end zone. And he's only going to get to the 23. Edgar Jones. On the return. Frank Masnicki, the kicker. 
So first down for Graham from the 24 yard line. Almost a 24. Fakes the handoff. Oh, catch. But <laughs> and the Browns. No, Max Speedy on that reception. Max Speedy made the catch. Good for 24 yards in the first down. Graham changing the plays. Here's a give to Marion Motley. And he is met by the Bears head first, head on, right at the line of scrimmage. And stuffed. Second down and 10 now. Graham gives to Motley. No, actually, that is Jones. Edgar Jones, he's forward for two yards. Third down and eight. Under four minutes now in the first half. The Browns are a perfect 10 and 10, rushing and passing. The Bears more of a passing team for some reason in this game. Graham looking. Throws it. It is caught on the sideline. Number 58, Max Speedy, makes the reception and a first down. <clears throat> He's got three receptions for 49 yards. Straight eye formation for the Browns as Al Coppage goes in motion. Give to the second man through, that's Motley. Motley's got six carries for 43 yards. Are on the tackle. Give to Motley again. He can't get through that bare defense. He's got seven carries for 20 yards as he loses. Leave Fred Davis on the tackle. Fred Davis in the six year out of Alabama. They're down to four. Graham back to pass. Throws it. It is complete on the run. <clears throat> Graham is 7 of 12, 94 yards. That pass is complete to Joe Rokiski. Make that John Rokiski, the rookie out of Duquesne. And we have hit the two-minute warning with a score of Chicago 17, Cleveland 0 in the first ever Dallas Invitational. Graham back to pass. He's got a good pocket, but it breaks down. And Jarmal Mike Jarmaluk on the tackle of the rookie out of Temple. On the sack. Second down and 17 now. And that's up a screen pass. It is complete. I believe that's Edgar Jones. Jones with a, a little shake and bake. And he is down to the four yard line. I mean, third and four. Down to the no, and the Browns move early. Half the offensive line is ahead of himself, including a Hall of Famer, Bill Willis. False start. Future Hall of Famer. Down and nine. Grant He's going to run. He throws. Just throws it over to the intended receiver, Edgar Jones. And bring him four, nine and Lou Groza will come on to attempt to get the Browns off the side with a 30 yard field goal attempt. And the toe boots it through. 
It is now 17 to 3. Oh, there are reps on the field goals, but just nowhere else on the field. And Groza will kick off. And the bear return man looks like it's uh, oh, number 31. Don't know who that is. Going to keep it back there. As always, I'll try and get better with each broadcast. Hopefully, I've got the setting turned on to see the names. Lockman back to pass. Swings it out to Osmanski. Osmanski makes the first man miss, but the second guy rips him down, and the Bears are going to have to use a timeout. That second guy, Sabin. No, they're going to say it was Cliff Lewis on the tackle. <clears throat> Osmanski makes one man miss, makes the second man miss, and he's gone. They're not, well, maybe, maybe. Molly might catch him. Marion Molly. Oh, but he, Osmanski drags the big beast in the end zone. And it is a 72 yard touchdown run for the rookie, Joe Osmanski. Out of Holy Cross. The extra point is blocked. Surprise, surprise. So it is 23 to 3. That's 52, Cliff Lewis, but then he didn't pick up the ball for some reason. <coughs> as, he, <coughs> as he gets up, oh, excuse me, looking at the ball, that's not known in the rules. Coming out of the, from the one yard line on the return, and boom, he's down at the 24. Cliff Lewis, who just blocked the previous the extra point as you have to get the ball past the 25 this time it's as close as he's gotten 39 seconds to go in the first half of the Bears destroying the Browns the NFL showing their dominance over the double AP Graham at the 8 of 15 106 yards alternate history title down yes yeah he the uh, Decatur Staley's won the 1920 Blast in the Pass Bowl. And right now, holding serve in the <coughs> 1946 George Hallis Invitational. The one difference between this is that um, this is real history. They have to have gotten to the NFL title game to be involved in this one. Whereas in Blast and Pass, they just have to be in the top six under modern rules. To make it into the playoffs. Al Coppage on the defense there brings up a fourth and nine, or, or not the defense, the offense drops the pass. And the punt is away. Can't get away from the first man. Joe Osmanski, still a little tired from that long 72 yard touchdown run. And there's a look at Hugh Gallerno coming back on the field. It is first and 10, 17 seconds. This has been a long first half. I think I had the setting set for same as best era football, but uh, Smansky, another nice run. P picks up seven. He's got 117 on the day. Two touchdowns, one on the ground, one through the air. Paul Brown is not going to like the, what his defense is doing. And we have the end of the first half with the monsters of the midway the chicago bears leading the cleveland browns 23 to 3 while we get into the highlights just want to update again at the beginning of the game i told you this was an alternate super bowl reboot <clears throat> what i plan to do if my um if my plan worked right on the the auto save not the auto save the create a save feature i saved the game before I simulated the conference championships. Of course, I put the, both the Bears, made sure that the Bears and Browns won. The next game would be the New York Giants versus the New York Yankees, the alternate George Hallis Invitational. Of course, then I guess it wouldn't be called George Hallis, but since Hallis is so influential, maybe he still did it. This this kick is booming in the end zone, and a, Edgar Jones takes the knee. First and ten now as Otto Graham comes up. 
under center. Give to Marion Motley, and he's going to lose a yard. Two, actually. Oh, not going to tell us who made the tackle. The other two games would be the alternate A with the uh, double AFC team changes, and that would put the New York Yankees against the Chicago Bears. Motley with a nice run. He's going to pick up six. <coughs> and the fourth game would be the alternate N, where the NFC team is different, and it would, the NFL team would be New York Giants versus the Cleveland Browns. Graham back to pass. This one's caught for the first down. Number 81, Galen Smith on reception. Graham is 9 of 17 passing for 113 yards. Graham fakes the handoff to Motley. Graham's going deep. He's got a man. Touchdown, Cleveland Browns. Dante Lavelli, the speed burner, for 56 yards to match the number on his jersey. As he just got behind the Bears' defense and they could not keep up with his speed. Lou Groza will add the extra point, and it is now a two-score game, 23-10, early in the third quarter. Groza's ready to kick off. Take it on the goal line. That's number 31. He's ripped down by Otto Graham. Otto Graham, the defender, is out there to just, to just rip the man down, returning the ball. And here we look at Sid Luckman, 22 of 28, 228 yards, two touchdowns in that early end zone interception. <clears throat> and it's first and 10 for the Bears. Luckman gives to Osmanski. Osmanski with another huge run. He picks up 14. He's up to 131 so far for the day. And that Bear offensive line, who have recently won their fourth NFL championship in the 1940s. Is opening huge holes for Osmanski. Luckman throws, overthrows his man. Loose saving in on the coverage. It'll be a second down and 10. The Bears currently won seven NFL championships. 19, 21, 32, 33, 40, 41, 43, and 46. Look, the throw's almost intercepted. Number 15, Don Greenwood stepped in front of the pass. <clears throat> and it's third down and ten. Luckman picks the handoff to Osmanski. He's now running. He's going to take off and run, and he could. And Luckman just bulls his way past Don or Edgar Jones. Jones hangs on for the ride. Luckman gets the first down. That's Jones' sixth tackle for the cornerback. Luckman in the shotgun. He's back to pass. Throws it over the middle. It's complete. Dick Schwedler on the reception, so he's the other return man. We'll try and now commit that number to hit to memory banks. 31 is Dick Schwedler. In his ninth year out of St. Louis. I think I said that earlier. Luckman throws it, almost intercepted. There's a diving effort to knock the ball away for the Browns at second. Luckman. He looks, he throws, he's got Schwedler. Schwedler's got the first down down to the 15-yard line, but cannot get away from two Browns tacklers. <clears throat> and it's a first and 10 on the 15. 
Luck been playing like he wants to be the MVP. Saban has eight tackles for, on defense. That's a nice huge hole for Osmanski, but he can only pick up four. Osmanski has reached 135 yards, setting the bar high early for this championship game. I will not be keeping stats and records and all that. If somebody else wants to, by all means, do it. Osmanski breaks one tackle. He is uh, only going to get a yard out of all that. In the 1940 title game, his brother, Bill Osmanski, had his touchdown run. One guy threw a block that took out half the Redskin roster. Joe, a rookie now for the Bears, is leading the way. Luckman looking. Looking throws. It is complete to number 37. And he's tackled by Don Greenwood and others. Frank Maznicki on that reception. Picks up nine. It'll be first and goal from the one. They're going to go with a shotgun formation. Luckman gives to number nine. Bill Osmanski, and he's going to lose a yard. This time it's a give once again to Osmanski. As the other, no, nope, that's Joe Osmanski, the, old, the younger brother. He loses three, Lynn Houston in on the tackle, and Houston's telling Osmanski all about what he just did to him. So it's third and goal from the four. Two runs by two different Osmanskis have lost three yards. Luckman, this time he <clears throat> backpedals. He's rolling out to his right. He's going to take off running, but he is going to be met and hit in the backfield by Bill Willis, the future Hall of Famer. Bill Willis is having none of it. And George Hallis is going to send down the field goal unit. And Frank Menisnizgi and his futuristic face mask will attempt a 27-yard field goal. And it's good. The Browns hold him to three. So he's got an old-fashioned football helmet with a futuristic face mask because of a glitch. Awesome. Thank you, EA Sports, and your glitches. Maznicki kicks it off. It is taken in the end zone where he will stay. He being Edgar Jones. The Browns have gained 209 yards. There's 406. You can see the break come. Graham back to pass. Throws over the middle. It bounced around about 145 times before finally hitting the ground. And it'll be a second down to 10. That was a hot potato that no brown nor bear wanted. Graham. Hands off to Motley. Motley lowers the shoulder but cannot run over anybody. He's got five yards on the carry. Third down and five. Only 29 yards for Motley as Stedahar makes the tackle. Graham looking to throw. He's got a man. It's going to be a first down to Dante Lavelli. And keeps the Browns drive alive. Graham is 12 20. Not a bad day. Started out slow. Unlike uh, Luckman, who was near perfect except for the one interception in the early going. Graham throws it's complete. Lavelli, Lavelli makes the move. He's back. One makes it the move. He's going to get down to the 31 yard line. <coughs> and a huge first down. I can't, for some reason, do the math right now. They get from the, their own 36 to 31. It's 14 and 18. What a 33. Caught. Caught for a gain of eight. This time, number 55, Tarrington. John Harrington, the rookie out of Marquette, before he is just out and out leveled. And it's second down and three. 
There's the give to Edgar Jones in the backfield. Nope, Myrian Motley in the backfield, and he is crushed for a loss of two. Third down and five. <clears throat> They don't show who made the tackle. Graham back to pass. It is complete for the first down to number 58, Max Speedy. That's his fourth reception on the afternoon. Graham hands it out to Motley. And Motley cannot get by the first player. Dante Magnani on the tackle. 98. It'll be second down and 10 for the Browns. Graham throws. It's complete to Harrington. And Joe Stidhar the tackle. Al Coppage, 59. I thought I saw 55. I need to put my glasses on. Third down and eight for the Browns. Down trailing by 16 points. Graham looking back. Throws it in the end zone and it is caught for the touchdown to John Rokiski. So John Rokiski will go down in history with a George Hallis Invitational touchdown catch, a GHI. And then Browns will go for two as Graham hands it off to Marion Motley. He runs over the first two but cannot get away from the third. This is the only time the Bears will appear in the real version of the George, uh, fictional George Hallis Invitational. The real fictional. <clears throat> they of course will appear in the alternate um and one as well for 46. Take it on the goal line. So anytime the Bears made the NFL or NFC Championship games, they will appear in two for that year. 46, 63, 85, 88. Um, 2006 and 2000. Ten, I believe. The Browns, on the other hand, as Luckman looks back to throw, he floats it out. It is incomplete. It was looking for Sprinkle. The Browns, 46, 47, 48, 49. Then we skip the 50s because there was only one league. 64, 68, 69. 86, 87, and 89. And that's it for the Browns. Luckman back to pass. He throws. It is intercepted. Intercepted by Marion Motley. And the big beast of a man is going to score. A pick six. Sid Luckman's second interception on the afternoon. And it goes to another Hall of Famer. And the Browns will go for the uh, field goal. This, the extra point this time. Lou Groza makes it. They trail by three. 26-23 with 2.20 to go. So I know this game is going long. We're almost at an hour, unlike last night's Sack to the Future game, but stay with us as we've got a good one on our hands. Taking on the goal line. He brings it out. And he is burned to the ground at the 26. Sid Luckman, 25 of 36, 262 yards, two touchdowns, two interceptions. One of George Hallis' all-time favorite players, Sid Luckman. Stedahar comes in motion. Masnicki is in the backfield. Luckman's going to throw. Scrambles throws it out into the flat. It is caught by Stedahar. And he is going to pick up seven. Second down and three now for the Bears. Right, 
Throwing into the flat again this time. It's Joe he makes the reception. They're going to say he was out of bounds. Third down and three. Well, I do see a referee way in the backfield there. And on the sides, but for some reason, they are Ed Sprinkle. He gets the first down. A lot of these guys on both these teams are just getting back. This is 46, getting back from World War II. Luckman looking. Throws almost intercepted again. Marion Motley stepped in front. <clears throat> and was trying to do it again. The Hall of Fame names that are in this game. You really got to know your football history. Some of them have disappeared through time. Said Luckman hands it off to Osmanski. It'll be first and ten. As Gallerno comes in motion. Give to Osmanski. He picks up five. Bears played their home games at Wrigley Field, which is technically where we would be in this kind of setting. So we have ended the third quarter for the score. Chicago 26, Cleveland 23. And way down the other end of the field is where the team are, is. What, what's, what's going on? What's going on? Luckman back to pass. He looks the screen pass. It is batted away. Somebody made the right decision to drop that. That play was was disaster from the beginning when the camera didn't even know where the players were. Third down and five. Good job, EA Sports. <clears throat> Luckman back to pass. He throws. It is complete. But in the process, Mesnicki is pushed backwards. Because he regains his composure and it's going to be, he had the first down, but had he, Dick Schmiedler, sorry, not Miss Nixon, had he just gone down when he was hit, they would have had the first down on forward progress. Instead, he regains his balance. Let's take a look at this. There he has the first down. He's pushed backwards. He regains his balance and tries to run again, and that's why he ends up giving up the first down. The Bears, some of their Hall of Famers, like Senator Bulldog Turner, quarterback Sid Luckman, Joe Stedahar. The Browns, of course, are Bill Willis, Marion Motley, Otto Graham. Both coaches. There is a long field goal. And it hits the crossbar as he Cody Parkies it. Masnicki is unable to extend their lead. I can only imagine what's going on in the Phantom Fighter household right now. As Masnicki misses the field goal. It was a long one, though. Would have been about 47 yards. Graham <clears throat> throws it out in the flat, and right as the, the ball is incomplete, right as the ball got to the receiver, there were two Bears there to take it away. Today, they are the number one team in the NFL on turnovers, according to the uh, Madden simulation. They have none today. The Browns, however, have two. The Browns, only 43 rushing yards. Graham throws incomplete. Incomplete as it was trailing the man and it bounced off the back of the head of the Bear defender. Third down and 10. <clears throat> Graham looking. Throws it's over the middle. It is caught. But only get five yards. Al Coppage and the Browns will have to punt. Fred Davis on the tackle. The punt is a high one. It's going to bounce at the five, and it's going to settle down on the two-yard line, three-yard line. So here comes Sid Luckman. He started out 22 of 28 since he's gone 6 to 14. The two interceptions is what kept the Browns in the game. Let's 
There's the give to Osmanski. He had a nice run. He spun, and when he spun, he spun right into a, a Brown defender, Marion Motley. And he only picked up six yards. Second down and four from the eight. There's the fake. Luckman rolling out. He throws. It's caught on the run by Sprinkle. And Sprinkle sprinkles his way down to the 30-yard line. The Browns only have one quarterback stop today. Sack, whatever you want to call it. It is first and 10 at the 29 for the Bears. Can they go 97 yards and put the game away? There's the handoff to Osmanski. He is dragging a guy along for the ride. He's got 163 yards. There's a look at Mary and Motley and the Browns. Second down and three. Frank Gatsky on the tackle. Luckman throws. He's got his man Sprinkle for the first down. He tops off the play. Motley in on the tackle. Sprinkle six receptions so far, 88 yards. 11.22 to go in the game. Thanks for sticking, sticking with us. It's been a long one. Gallerno comes in motion. Magnani and Osmanski in the backfield. There's the handoff to Osmanski. Huge hole in Osmanski. He is going to get down to the 43-yard line. That is a 13-yard gain, and Osmanski is up to 176 yards on 20 carries. If he had a little bit more speed, he seems to be wearing down Ray Terrell on the tackle. Luckman's going to give it to Magnani this time, but he is not going to get by that front brown defensive line. <clears throat> Actually, it was Bill Osmanski. Sorry, the older brother, Joe Osmanski. Second down and nine. So, Phantom Fighter, let me ask you, how would you like to control this Bears team? Gallano comes in motion. Luckman back to pass. Throws it over the middle. It is caught by Gallano, but into a pile of Browns, including the big Marion Motley. Lou Rimkus. The Bears have run 45 passing plays and only 25 rushing, but those 25 have been devastating. Screen pass. It's caught by Osmanski. Motley on the tackle. And the Bears will punt it away with 9.30 to go. The punt goes out of bounds at the 21-yard line. Otto Graham. Graham back to pass. Throws it's knocked away. Number 98 knocks it away. Wish they'd show names when they show stats. Harrington was the intended receiver. So second down and ten. Graham looking. He avoids a sack. He gets it away to Galen Smith. Smith is able to pick up three yards. The Bears are going aggressive on the defense, on defense now. Don Perkins was in on the tackle. And no, not the Don Perkins that runs for the Cowboys in the 60s. A different Don Perkins. Otto Graham back to pass. Throws it. His, oh, his head is just absolutely taken off. Not sure who made that catch, but the Browns will have to punt it away. Taken by Osmanski on the return. He is up to the 28. The Bears are about to hit like they did in the fourth. <clears throat> First and 10 for Luckman. 8-16 to go in the game. There's a give to Osmanski, and he is yanked down. Nope, Masnicki. Masnicki on the carry. Right now, if the Bears can hold on to win, there's another... Well, they're all on the sidelines. they got modern uniforms. Never mind. If the Bears can hold on to win, right now, I'm not sure if the MVP would be Luckman or Osmanski. It's definitely one of them two at this point. Luckman back to pass. 
Throws it is caught by Osmanski, and he runs backwards again. But there's a flag down. That right there, that's, that's the uh, him running backwards. The face mask on the Browns. The one time he physically actually did in the first quarter. Bill Lund on the gets the call. But when he's run forward, he's picked up over 170 yards on the ground. It's a good rookie season. Luck been looking. Throws. It is caught by number 31. I know this one. It's Dick Schwedler. Second down and one. Luckman's made two tackles. What? How's that possible? There are a few guys only plays one way. <laughs> Luckman throws. He's got a man wide open. And a first down for the Bears. Hugh Gallerno. 21 yards. Sixth reception on the afternoon. And the Bears are a pass happy team. Luckman looking. Luckman throwing. Schwedler on the reception. Seven receptions for 63 yards. Second down and four. They send Sprinkle in motion. It's given to Osmanski, and he runs for the first down. He's got 181 yards now and 21 carries. Frank Gackle. It'd be an interesting matchup if we were back in the 40s and it was you versus Terrors in this game. Luckman looking. He's throwing behind himself. Almost intercepted. As Luckman tried the no-look pass, who comes away with a deflection? Osmanski was the intended receiver. It's the second down and 10 for the Bears. Luckman got a throw. He throws it over the middle. It is caught by Ed Sprinkle. Sprinkle is down to the seven-yard line. Luckman, 36 of 52. Setting all kinds of George Hallis invitation record, records. GHI records. Luckman looking. Luckman throws into the toward the end zone. It is incomplete. Why does Mike Scary have... Okay, that's the third thing I gotta change. Mike Scary has a breather right strip on his nose. So, going for the field goal. With 4.31 to go. That would force the Browns to have to score a touchdown. The kick is up. Maznicki hits this time, and it's 29 23. So, I got uh, two guys wearing modern face masks, even though their helmets are classic. And one guy in the Browns wearing a breathe right strip. I'll have to fix. I got to do it. Make sure I do it in the um, not going forward with this <clears throat> in the safe spot that I saved because that's the one I want to keep. Dante Lavelli has four receptions for yards and the long touchdown. I don't want to have to edit the teams four times, so. I want to just keep the one. Graham, back to pass. He throws it over the middle. It's caught in a sea of bears. And somehow the little Galen Smith is able to make the catch. It gets 22 yards. 3.55 to go. Graham, back to pass. Trailing by six. He throws it up. Almost intercepted. George Hallis trying to run on the sidelines, telling him that Dick Schwedler's got to catch that pass. Got to intercept that pass. Second down and 10. Graham. He's got time. He's got a Hall of Fame offensive line all over the place, and Dante Lavelli makes the catch. His fifth reception, and he's over 100 yards. Luckman on the tackle. I guess Luckman does play both ways. I only thought I, he was the quarterback. I know Graham plays both ways, but only in the early going. 
Third down and two. Luck Graham rolls out. He throws on the run. It's complete for the first down to Max Speedy. A gain of 13. Max Speedy's fifth reception. Graham looking to throw. Over the middle. Incomplete. And we got a little glitching going on. For, hopefully that's not going to ruin the game. Second down and 10 with 2.35 to go. 40 yards away from a championship. Graham looking. He's got nobody in the backfield with him. He throws it deep toward the end zone. Incomplete. Just overthrew everybody. John Harrington. And whoever in 94 is getting into a scrim, scrum, a hockey fight. No, not a hockey fight. They didn't throw any punches. Two minutes, 30 seconds to go. It's third down and 10. Graham back to pass. Steps up and throws. It is complete to Edgar Jones. Pick up of six, but it's fourth down and four. So with 2.20 and all their timeouts to go, what are the Browns going to do? They're going to go for it. See, I would kick the field goal. Well, maybe they were just, uh, I don't know, two minutes to go. The Bears lead 29-23. They are going to go for it. Otto Graham comes up under center. He's got Marion Motley in the backfield. He is back to pass. He throws. Knocked away. Knocked away by number 92. Probably not his real number. Probably plays both ways. They were looking for Max Speedy, the big tight end. It's first and 10 for the Bears. The Browns have all three of their timeouts. The Bears are going to go into the eye formation. The Browns are showing blitz. Here's the handoff to Osmanski. And he is going to be nailed in the backfield by Dante Lavelli. And it will be second down and 10. We are back after the timeout. Second and 10, minute 55 to go. There's a hand up to Osmanski. Just a huge hole. He has no speed left. But the Bears are able to get the first down. Lavelli on the tackle again. And now the Browns are down to their final timeout. Osmanski is on fumes. Edgar Jones on the tackle. It is a first and ten, so now barring a fumble. Osmanski is still in the backfield. There is the give to Osmanski, and he is nailed hard. The Browns use their final timeout. The Browns are definitely trying to make Osmanski fumble. He is held strong throughout the day. It's second down and seven. <clears throat> now the Browns cannot stop the clock against. They need a turnover. There's the give. The finally, it is not Osmanski. It is number 37, Mesnicki. And he is able to pick up nine yards. So it's third down and in inches with a minute nine to go. The Browns need to come up with a stop. Here's the give to Osmanski. And he's got the first down. Ladies and gentlemen, that does it. With 24 carries, 199 yards, and a touchdown, Joe Osmanski just showed the Browns that this is the NFL. This isn't the double AFC. You aren't playing teams like the Chicago Rockets. You're playing the Chicago Bears. And with 20 seconds to go, there will be one play left. Luckman takes the knee, and your 1946 George Hallis Invitational Champions are the Monsters of the Midway, the Chicago Bears. We know the Browns will be back. And thanks for joining us on the Vinny X Wolf channel. If you stayed for the whole hour and 20 minutes, I appreciate it. If you watched it on replay, thank you. The Bears win the first George House Invitational. There will be 10. Actually, there will be 40 because four different versions. But there will be 10 of those before we get to Super Bowls. But your 1946 champion are the Chicago Bears. There's George Hallis running over to congratulate Paul Brown. Otto Graham coming off the field. We'll see him again.
There's Cliff Lewis. Take a look back at the highlights. Osmanski just, that was the screen pass touchdown. That's his long run there where he drags Motley into the end zone. That's the big number 51. We never did find out who he was. There's a long pass to Lavelli. Marion Motley on the pick six. And your Super Bowl 40, or your George House Invitational Champion MVP with 361 yards passing is Sid Buckman. And there is the George Hallis Trophy. Looks an awful lot like a futuristic Vince Lombardi Trophy. I wish like the WWE games we could go and edit things like that, but oh well. So once again, thanks for joining us. Until next time on the Alternate Super Series, I'm Vinnie Vincent, and you're not.